Hey everybody, Steve here, and let's take a look at all the stories we're following from the AFR News Desk for August 30th, 2016. Alright, so here we are guys, another great week in sports and sports board games. Uh, the lead story this week, I wanted to talk about an upcoming event that I'm going to be attending. Uh, it's here on the East Coast, it's going to be taking place on September 24th in East Windsor, New Jersey at the Gamers Realm uh, hobby store and it's the fourth annual uh, Fall Classic pre-play event that's going to be hosted by Keith Avalone from Play.com. Uh, this will be the third time that I've attended this event, uh, once right here in my backyard in Massachusetts. Uh, last year it was in Milwaukee, uh, now this year it's uh, back on the East Coast in New Jersey. So this is a really fantastic time. Um, I've made a lot of great friends through this event. So if you're anywhere near the East Windsor, New Jersey area, uh, definitely um, encourage you to, to take a chance and uh, come on out for the day. It's gonna start around noon. And how this works is about a week before the event, Keith will fast play the rest of the season, um, the baseball season. And then uh, with that in-season card set that was just released um, to get to the playoffs. And then we'll play out the playoffs and crown a champion um, right in that afternoon. Um, and he's also going to have a separate event going on along with the playoffs uh, using some of the classic card sets that he's released uh, for the Hall of Fame baseball players. Um, there's even a chance you might get a sneak peek at the uh, upcoming History Maker golf game. So uh, again, that's taking place on September 24th. Um, I'll post a link below to the page so you can learn more about that. So hopefully I'll get to see a few AFR viewers at the event. Definitely looking forward to another great fall classic pre-play. In other news, uh, over on the Delphi forums for play.com, uh, Al Wilson, who is helping to develop the next all-time franchise great set for History Maker Baseball, has been posting some updates on that set. And so now we know some of the players that are going to be released in this new set. Now, as well as the remainder of the teams being released, who um, were not in the previous three sets, there's also going to be two sets of players uh, from the American League and from the National League of uh, players that didn't quite make the cut on their original team's roster uh, for whatever reason. Um, so there's going to be an additional set of players and that he actually played out a game uh, using those players. Um, and he detailed that on the forums. I'll post a link to that below. I was really excited to see that uh, Johnny Pesky made it into this set uh, from Boston and that my childhood hero Chris Sabo uh, from Cincinnati also made it into this set. Uh, there is no release date yet uh, for that, but I can't imagine it'll be too much longer if they're already in the, uh, the proofing stages of that. But stay tuned here uh, for updates on when that's going to be re released. Uh, that's the all-time franchise great uh, series for hopefully coming out very soon for History Maker Baseball. And now let's take a look at new releases. Uh, so sticking with Play.com here, there's actually a, a big news here with the uh, new releases, and that's that the uh, sets that were produced by Pete Ventura over at Replay Games when they were uh, selling second season football are now available to purchase as a PDF download on the Play.com site. So these are the seasons 2004 through 2008. And you can see that uh, these sets, they're a little different format uh, from what comes out now, although they are fully compatible with the current version. Uh, so it's really great to see these out. This was actually the first sets that I played of this game back when I first got into second season football. And so it's really great to see these back out, uh, all the full color, and that they're just in a PDF download so you can have them uh, right, saved on your computer uh, to print out as you like. Um, so again, that's the 2004 through 2008 seasons as they were produced by Replay Games. 
is now available to purchase as a PDF download over on the Play.com store. And speaking of replay games, they have now released the 1948 season for their replay baseball game. And they have a couple of pre-orders up now on their website. Uh, first up, they're having another memorable matchup set. Uh, this will be Volume 3, and it is a collection of classic World Series matchups. Due to be available in late September, they're also taking pre-orders for the 1959 season. And then due to come out on October 10th, will be the 1999 Replayer's Choice set. This is a collection that will have the top eight playoff teams plus the Cincinnati team from that season. Some more baseball new releases over at FTP Sports. They now have the 1969 season available for Dugout Steps Baseball. And then finally, over at Downey Games, they have released the 2016 Olympic men's and women's basketball team set for their player of the game basketball. And finally, channel updates. All right, guys, so just a quick update here. Uh, the channel has surpassed 1,050 subscribers. Uh, we're at 1,052 as I'm recording this. And so thank you to everybody who's helped spread the word. It's been quite a, a ride. We've gained over 150 subscribers now for this year. So uh, maybe we'll pick up a, a few more before we reach the end of the calendar year. The live shows are going along really, really great. Um, built up a good audience for those. Thank you to everybody who tunes into those. Uh, they become uh, quite a great uh, get together. Uh, a lot of good chat goes on in the chat room for those. Um, if you haven't been able to see one of those, you can watch the, the replay of it. They're automatically archived on YouTube. Um, I'll post a link to the latest one right up here so you can watch that and you can enjoy the dulcet tones of my singing voice uh, in the uh, bottom of, or the uh, middle of the seventh inning uh, for the game that I played out. In that latest uh, live show, I played out a game uh, between Pittsburgh and Chicago, and it was interesting because I was actually playing out the game as it was going on on TV. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Uh, people seem to really enjoy it, so I'm actually gonna try to do something like that on my live Monday night show um, until the end of the baseball season. Um, so if you get a chance, uh, try to tune in. I have it up uh, every Monday night, usually kicks off around 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and then maybe one of these times I'll try to do a show um, maybe an hour later so that people on the West Coast have a uh, better chance of tuning in. Um, other than that, the uh, the AFR website is still in development. No timetable on when that will go out. I'm really excited to uh, um, to get that up and running. Hopefully, uh, maybe uh, the next month or so. Um, I'll post a couple pictures um, as it gets closer to release, so you guys get an idea of what's on there. Um, other than that, I'll be back on Monday night with a live show, and then of course the news on uh, next Tuesday. All right, everybody, that is all for now. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Steve, and until next time, get out there, have fun, play games, and I'll see you after further review.